It turns out with all these additional functions, we get additional Pythagorean identities. So first of all, the basic Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. We're going to use this to derive two more. And the way, we're going to the way we're going to derive those things is we're going to divide the whole thing by sine squared theta and then divide the whole thing by cosine squared theta. So let's do the first one here. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide each term by sine squared theta and take a look at what it gives us. So sine squared theta over sine squared theta is 1 plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta. Well, let's think cosine over sine. Cosine over sine is cotangent. So this is cotangent squared theta. And I got lazy with my parentheses. And then 1 over sine squared theta. Well, 1 over sine theta is cosecant theta. So it's cosecant theta squared, like that. And this is another version of the Pythagorean identity. And all we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing except divide through by cosine squared theta. So again, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Divide everything by cosine squared theta. And now we just simplify. Sine over cosine is tangent theta, so that's tangent squared theta. Cosine over cosine is 1, is equal to 1 over cosine, which is secant, secant squared theta. Now, one of the nice features of this is that we now have relationships by pairs for all six trig functions, sine and cosine, tangent and secant, cotangent and cosecant. And so these are the three versions of the Pythagorean identity.